Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm testing out the new makeup collection from Ariana Grande and I have everything in this box right here. Now I didn't pick up everything in the collection because there are a couple of things that I didn't really think I would get the use out of and I'm one of those people that at the moment I'm trying to buy products I know that I'm probably going to use. If I do like them I'll just use them in my normal makeup routine. So if you're new to my channel and you enjoy this video make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and also make sure you hit the bell icon just so you're notified every time I upload a new video. So like I said everything that I have is in this box right here and I purchased it all with my own money and I think it was the first week that it came out I purchased this it did also have delays so I think it took about two weeks for it to get to me and it did say on the website that if you purchase certain products there was going to be a long delay and I purposely decided not to purchase those specific products because I did want to get these as quickly as possible and I think I got these about a week ago now the name of the brand I'm probably going to get it completely wrong it's either REM Beauty or REM Beauty so I do apologize because I am not sure myself I also think that this is a really good idea because I do really like the packaging and I know that some people either like it or they don't like it some people say that it looks cheap but I actually think it looks pretty good and also the fact that everything is vegan and cruelty free as well which I think is amazing especially with brands now so I do like the fact that she released these products because these look like they were going to be very universal for a lot of different skin tones I also like that on the website she has models with different skin tones different skin types as well so you can see exactly what they look like also swatches of everything so I think this is a really good brand that she's put together because like I said it looks like pretty much everyone can get the use out of it they have a highlighter on there and they have a green version they have a purple version and I think that is really good I personally won't go for them just because I don't really like to go too far out of my comfort zone but I think a lot of people are gonna appreciate it. Also, the price point isn't really that bad for a celebrity makeup brand. Now, some of the products are a little bit more expensive than what I'd wanna pay for, but then some of them, they are on par with the Fenty Beauty and the KVD Vegan Beauty, and I actually think that some of the prices are pretty good. So we'll see how the formula is and see if they are definitely worth the money, and I'll let you know if they are worth purchasing. So I'm gonna go ahead and test everything out that I have in this collection. So if you wanna see how these go, then just keep watching. So as you can see, I've done the majority of my makeup I've done my foundation concealer bronzer and blush just because these are the products that I don't have in the collection that I purchased so the first product that I'm going to test out is the eyeshadow palette this one is midnight shadows and it's in the shade baby doll and you do get six different shades in the palette and it looks like it was going to be the best one for me because I always go for neutrals that's what I go every day but I do actually feel like I could have probably gotten away with getting another palette as well and each of the eyeshadow palettes retails for $24 so it's not too bad when you think that you get six different shades in here and it looks like it's going to be really very nice it's also recyclable as well which I think is great it's also made with post consumer recycled materials again really really good and on the website they do have three different shades of the palettes they have one that's like a midnight blue then they've got this one which is baby doll and then they've got another one which has some black and then also some red pigment so in this one you get six different shades you have a matte rich brown matte cinnamon brown metallic golden bronze matte warm sandstone metallic peachy gold and matte pink cream so I like the fact that you have the mixture of matte and then also metallic shades and on the website it says create your own vivid illusions with this mix of six mattes and shimmers that you can wear from daylight to midnight each curated palette is inspired by Ari's signature eye looks and features talc free ultra blendable silky formulas that deliver a lightweight feel and maximum color a payoff creamy smooth application delivers optimal wear the creative possibilities are limitless also got vivid color consciously made talc free vegan ultra blendable and cruelty free as well so this seems like it's going to be an amazing product and then also if you do like clean beauty i believe this should come under the clean beauty as well i actually really like this packaging it reminds me of like space age it is very very pretty so this is what the packaging looks like and it looks really beautiful very space age i'm hoping that my camera is going to pick this up because it is very very reflective and i also like the fact that it doesn't hurt when you try and open it like it's not one of those that's really really tricky to open and the shades just look really beautiful so it looks like ones that i'll definitely be going to so you can see that it goes from the lightest all the way down to the darkest shade and i just think it looks really nice and the fact that you have a mirror in there as well is great but even when you close it it's not like a hard close. I'm really impressed with the packaging, but we'll go ahead and see how the formula is because even if the packaging is good, you want to have a really good formula. So the first shade that I'm going to go into is this one right here in the middle. So this one is a matte brown shade and I'm going to use this for the transition shade. Now, all of my brushes I have cleaned so they don't have any product from any of the eyeshadows on them. 
and that automatically picks up a lot of product but it's not to the point where you're getting fallout blends very nicely builds very easily as well so I like this transition shade it's not too dark it's sort of like I don't know it's a very neutral but has like a peach undertone to it the next shade that I'm going into is this one right here so it's the fifth one along and it's almost the darkest matte shade so I'm just going to put this on the outer third that pigment for this shade is amazing and I'm just going to put this in the crease a little bit as well so I really don't need to build this up I'm just going to try one that builds up very very easily very strong love the pigment love the color of it so this one very good and I'm just going to take this shade which is in the middle this one is the darker shimmery shade and I'm just going to pat this all on the lid that is beautiful as well it is darker than I thought it'd be it's more of like a bronze shade but still really really beautiful it's a little bit darker of an eye look than what I was going to go for originally but it looks really good it feels very very creamy as well so when you're applying it to the lid and also when you're rubbing in the pan very creamy it honestly feels like one of those cream to powder products then i'm going to take the same brush that we used for the outer third and i'm just going to take this dark shade here and we're just going to darken up the outer third and i'm not going to go into the crease with this i'm literally just putting it on the outer part and then put a little bit of a slightly lighter shade on top and then just blend out the edges and then I'm going to take the lightest shimmer shade and I'm going to take a different finger and just press this on the center of the lid and I'm just going to take it on my little finger and just pop it on the inner corner this matte shade right here and I'm going to put this on the lower lash line so the eyeshadow is done and this is what it looks like and I feel like it looks very very beautiful. The only thing I do have to say is that this shade looks so much darker when it's on the lid than it does when it's in the pans. If you want an everyday wearable look I'd say go for these three but then if you want to deepen it up add in these three as well but it looks really really pretty blended out very easily they feel very very creamy on the fingers and they build up so easily the pigmentation is amazing so i am loving this eyeshadow palette i'm just going to take another finger that doesn't have any product on it and i'm just going to pop it in this one which is the lightest matte shade i'm just going to pop this under the brow bone because this is the only shade that I haven't actually used from the palette. So for me, this eyeshadow palette is definitely a thumbs up. I really like it. I love the packaging. I just love everything about it. So I am currently obsessed with this and I'll keep using it. So I've just tight lined my upper waterline because I have two more products that I'm going to test out for the eyes. So I have the eyeliner and then also the volumizer mascara. Now with the mascara, there were two that you could choose from. There was a volumizing one and a lengthening one. And I'm one of those people where I don't have a lot of eyelashes. So I definitely prefer volumizing. So that's why I went ahead and got that one. And then I tried the eyeliner because this was the thing that straight away I think of Ariana Grande her eyeliner is always beautiful and I thought if she's brought on eyeliner it's probably going to be really good and last a long time so I'm going to try one of each on each of my eyes just so you can see what they look like I'm going to try the mascara on one eye first just so you can see how it lengthens how it volumizes and that and then I'm going to try out the eyeliner afterwards so with the mascara this is the flourishing volumized mascara you get six milliliters or 0 0.20 fluid ounces and again this packaging is really nice and I haven't actually seen packaging that looks like this before it is very similar to the eyeshadow palette so you have the packaging on the top right here where it looks like that and then it's exactly the same as on the eyeshadow palette so I think that is a really good thing I also like the fact that it's all wipe clean as well because I have dirty fingers all the time with the volumizer mascara they only have one shade which is midnight black it retails for $15 which I think is really good because that's pretty much like a drugstore mascara so I think that is a really good price point that they've set for that and then on the website it says lashes will flourish with this volumizing and nourishing formula that builds without clumping for fuller more voluminous looking lashes infused with 100% naturally derived 
bamboo powder for no fallout, Tahitian microalgae and a trio of nourishing fruit extracts. This clean formula has everything you need and nothing you don't. No parabens, D5, microplastic, silicon or mineral oil. Volumizing properties are amplified by our applicator designed with perfectly spaced channels to collect and deposit the ideal amount of mascara for maximum lash lift off. It's volumizing, consciously made, nourishing, vegan, easy removal and cruelty free as well. And I like the fact that it's easily removed because there are times when I put my makeup remover on and it does not want to budge and then it goes everywhere. So this one looks very different to any other one that I've seen on a mascara before. I find it weird that it's got three different clumps of bristles on there. So it doesn't really say the best way to apply this. So I'm just gonna pretty much do what I usually do, have a rolling motion and then also just sort of try and fan them out as well. So just with one coat, this mascara looks very, very beautiful. My lashes already look very long and there is also a little bit of volume. So this is one of the best mascaras that I've tried and it actually does do what it says it's gonna do. So I like it with one coat. I feel like you get a very nice natural look, but also you do get a bit of volume. So I'm just gonna build it up and see how it goes. I do always do three coats of mascara and that's what I do in all my first impressions as well because I like to see how it actually builds. And with the second coat, it is looking really, really nice again. They aren't clumping. It is looking like it's probably gonna start clumping very soon if I do the third coat, but my lashes look very nice. I'm really impressed with this. I actually feel like it does look pretty nice. But like I said, with the two coats, I do really like it. I feel like it looks very, very pretty and I'm excited to do a third coat. So now I've done the third coat and I feel like I may have found my new favourite mascara. My eyelashes look so long. There is quite a bit of volume. It doesn't look clumpy but it is starting to look like it's going to clump very soon. So three coats is the maximum that you could do. I won't put any more than that. But the two coats it still look really beautiful. So I really do like it. I feel like it looks very very nice. And I'm going to go ahead and do the lower lashes. And even though this wand is pretty big, that was pretty easy to do the bottom lashes. And my lashes look very nice and long. They don't look thick, but they look nice and long. And I do like the wand. I feel like it is very, very good. It's very strange as well. It's not too big. It's not too small. I do like the formula of the mascara as well. It's not too thick. I feel like it's going to be a new go-to for me. And for $15, I feel like this is a really good price point for it. Because like I said, a lot of drugstore mascaras are also about $15. So... This, I actually think, is better than almost all of the drugstore mascaras that I've tried. I'm really impressed with this and I really do like it and I will continue to use this. And the next product on test now is the eyeliner. This is the At The Borderline Eyeliner Marker Midnight Black and it's 1.6 millilitres or 0.05 fluid ounces. And this is the product that I'm most excited to test out today. And I said that earlier because this is the thing that I feel like Ariana Grande is known for. So it does retail for $19 and it also is only in the shade Midnight Black. They only have this shade available. And it has 48 hour long wear, waterproof, smudge proof, consciously made, vegan and cruelty free. So 48 hour wear is quite crazy. I've never had an eyeliner that says it's going to last 48 hours. I've tried the KVD Vegan Beauty, which I used to love. The Collection 24 hour felt liner, I loved that as well. And this one for 48 hours... And being waterproof, I feel like it's probably going to be pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and try it on this eye first, just so we can see what it looks like without the mascara, so we can see if it creates a really nice bold eye look, or just basically see what it looks like before I put mascara on. So I'm just going to try and do what I usually do, which is like a flick. It's what I do every single time that I wear black liner, so hopefully we'll be able to do it, but I haven't used a felt tip liner in such a long time. And that was actually very, very easy to do. So like I said, I haven't used a felt tip one in such a long time, but it just glides on very easily. You can't really get any mistakes of it. The only thing I do have to say is that it doesn't go on the shimmery eyeshadow as well as I'd like it to. So you do need to build it up a little bit if you are going on shimmery eyeshadow, but I think that might just be the same with all felt tip liners. And it doesn't seem to have changed the tip at all. There's no residue or anything like that on there, so not too bad, but 
yeah I like that it's a matte black eyeliner so also what I've done is I've just drawn a line on the back of my hand which is very nice and it just went on very easily so I'm going to keep this on and then we'll wait until the end of the video and then I'll try and smudge it and see what it looks like because I don't really want to go ahead and try and smudge all of my eyeliner everywhere because I've just done my eyeshadow so we're going to test it out and see how it goes on my hand. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and finish my eyeliner on this side and my mascara on this side and then I'm going to come back and we're going to try out the last two products. So I've finished off my eyes and this is what they look like and I feel like it looks really really nice. I'm really impressed with the mascara I'm really impressed with the eyeshadows. The only thing is, I'm not really that impressed with the eyeliner. Now, I feel like the eyeliner is good and it is very matte, very black. But personally, I won't pay the $19 for it at the moment just because when I was doing this eye, it just it didn't glide on as nicely as it did on this side and it just looked a little bit patchy. I'm not too sure if you'll be able to see but it didn't really want to go on as nicely as it did on the other eye. So the next things that we're going to test out, I have two more products. So the first one is the highlighter and this one, again, I'm really excited for because I love my highlighter. The thing is, the only highlighter that is like the best one for me is the Wet n Wild one, which is like five pounds. That one is amazing and it's my go-to. So we'll see if this is as good as that one or if it is any better because this one is a bit more expensive than the Wet n Wild one. So the highlighter that I have is the Interstellar Highlighting Topper, which is in the shade Miss Mercury. And this one is like a champagne shade just because that's what I always go for. Again, packaging looks really good. And you have eight grams and 0.28 ounces in here as well very pretty let's see if it has the same closure as the eyeshadow so this has the same closure as the eyeshadow so that's something that i like because sometimes it's quite hard to try and get in there to open it up this one just opens very easily so this is what the shade looks like but i do like the packaging not a hard close easy to open so like i said the shade that i got is miss mercury which is a warm champagne they do have 10 different shades so they even have a bright yellow one again they've got a green one they've got a purple one looks stunning on the skin tones that they have on the website it's just i know that i won't really go for it so this retails for 22 dollars so is a little bit up there considering the rest of the prices that you have for the collection but you know if it is good then it might be worth the money. So it says, get a next level highlight with this weightless multi-dimensional topper that can be used on your cheeks, eyes and body. Infused with vegetable derived emollients, our silky creamy powder formula glides on like a second skin, then melts upon application for a dewy luminous highlight that stays smooth no matter where you wear. And it's multi-dimensional shine, consciously made, vegan, cruelty free, dewy finish and smooth application. So I'm just gonna use my normal highlighting brush. Again, this is clean, it just, it doesn't look like it's clean so I'm just gonna take this and shade again looks beautiful it's like a really nice champagne shade so if you do like champagne shades this will be the one for you to go to and the fact that it has a mirror is great as well so I'm just going to take a little bit and a lot came off on my brush and I'm just going to apply okay that looks beautiful blends nicely only need a little amount and this is what you get so yeah i like this i like the shade i'm gonna try it on the nose as well and then on the lip and then we're also gonna try it under the brows that's what the highlighter looks like i feel like i don't need any more than that and i hardly got any of the product out so a little goes a very long way with this product let's feel it feels creamy just blends really nicely and I am liking this. So the last thing that I'm gonna test out is a lipstick that I got. So I don't have a lip liner just because I knew I probably wouldn't use a lip liner and I didn't get the pump and lip gloss that everyone's obsessed with because I don't really use lip glosses. I mainly use lipsticks or liquid lipsticks. So the lipstick that I have is the On Your Color Matte Lipstick in the shade Roller Skates. I think I've seen what the lipstick looks like and it genuinely looked like it was a spacesuit. And that's something that I thought was really good. So it does come in a little bit of a plastic packaging as well. This looks really massive. Like this looks huge. But it looks so cute because it looks like you have a little spaceman in the little helmet. It just looks really funny. And then you have the shade on the bottom. The good thing about this is that it looks like they might do replacement ones. Because as you can see, there's like a little hole in there. So I don't know if that's so you can just push the rest of the lipstick out like the YSL ones. That looks so weird. 
like it's completely different from any other ones that I've tried before and then it's also magnetic as well so it just closes so the matte lipstick retails for $19 which is a little bit up there in price for a lipstick day so this is a nude peach pink and because I am very pale I tend to have a lot of lipsticks that look a lot darker on my skin tone than other people do and it says on the website this ultra smooth matte formula glides on lips like a dream and delivers instant rich long lasting colour that stays comfortably in place without drying out your pout also long lasting smooth matte finish non drying formula consciously made vegan and cruelty free as well so I've just put on a little bit of matte lip liner and I do apologise my lips they are very very dry at the moment so it's not looking the nicest so we're just going to see how this applies that is very creamy and is very peach I thought it'd be more pink I think this is actually really pretty I do feel like the color might be a little bit too pale for my skin tone but I think if I put another lip liner on or some lip gloss or something and this would be really beautiful but it looks really nice feels really comfortable on the lips it's like a moussey formula and it's not bleeding smells like chocolate cake but it's not overpowering but it smells very very nice so i would say that if you don't like scents then you're probably not going to like this but i i really like the scent of this and the fact that it just goes in its own little home in there so with the lip liner added to the outside it does create a little bit more of a dimension to it now it did glide on very nicely it feels very smooth on the lips does it feel dry and does it look dry and the only thing is it's not opaque so you can still see that it looks a little bit patchy on my lower lip you will probably need to build this up a little bit because it's not opaque straight away when you put it on i don't know if that's just because i do have dry lips at the moment but I would need to put on a gloss or something else with it so that's the only thing that i'm not really impressed with with the lipstick but it smells nice and it looks pretty good so i'm gonna go ahead and gather my thoughts on all these products and see what i think about them and then i'm gonna come back show you what my finished makeup looks like and let you know what i think of each of these products so i've finished off my makeup and i've had a little think about each of these products and i can let you know which ones that i like which ones that i don't and what i like about the collection and what i don't like about it so the first thing is i really like the packaging i think that it is very nice very space age i enjoy it to be honest i'm one of those people that's obsessed with space and ufos so you know it's something that I enjoy and I think it's really good so these I don't know I just think it's really good I also like the concept of that they don't have the hard opening or closing it's just so easy and it doesn't slam close so I think that is another really really good thing it's not like a super strong magnet because sometimes you have the products that are hard for you to open and you basically break your finger off trying to open them and I I don't feel like it's cheap I feel like that it does feel pretty heavy as well and I feel like the concept for everything is really good I even like you know the, the lipstick thing i think the lipstick container is really good so now that i told you that i really like the packaging and i like the types of things that they've added to it i'm going to go ahead and tell you about each of the individual products that i have so first thing the eyeshadow palette i really like this i feel like that the shades are very nice blend easily i can't obviously tell you if they're gonna be long lasting but i really like it i love the pigmentation and i like the fact that you have a mirror in there as well and i like the fact that you have the three daytime looks and you can deepen it up with the three darker ones so i think that's really good i'm not too sure if it is worth 24 dollars, just because for me that is quite a high price but i like it and i feel like that it is on par with the tar eyeshadows so if you don't want to spend the money on tar i'd recommend going ahead and getting these and with the mascara i really like this i feel like the packaging again really beautiful i love the wand i love the formula of it it's not drying it's not too wet it glides on very very nicely it's not too thick not too thin i feel like it is the perfect formula i like the brush as well the brush is so weird but it gets to every individual lash it doesn't clump and it builds up very nicely it did start to clump a little bit on the third coat but to be honest that's expected for free coats but i like it and this is going to be a new go-to of mine i'm going to be using this a hell of a lot because i genuinely really like it and the fact that it's 15 dollars it's pretty affordable for a mascara especially from a celebrity and with the eyeliner i like some things but there are some things that i don't like so i don't feel like it glides on as nicely or as smoothly as a liquid eyeliner i don't know if that's just because it's a felt tip one i felt like it didn't really go on the shimmer shades very easily i did also do a swatch of a matte shade right here and then put some of the eyeliner on top of it and it bled a little bit but if you can see the one where i have put no eyeshadow down is bled a lot and the one with the eyeshadow hasn't really bled so i would say just make sure that you have 
eyeshadow down before you put this on because it can start to bleed and yeah like I said again the shimmer eyeshadows it didn't really tend to go on them as easily again not sure if that's just because it's a felt tip but for that reason I wouldn't repurchase this I will be using it again but I think I'd probably be using it with matte eyeshadows instead of shimmer ones we'll also test out these little swatches that I did on here and see if they smudge because it does say it's smudge proof and waterproof so I am really rubbing hard on here it didn't even budge that is definitely budge proof it doesn't smudge and I think this is easily going to last a very long time and I have very dry hands at the moment so that's why you could see little tiny flakes coming off so I do apologize if you don't like the look of that so like I said the eyeliner I won't go ahead and purchase it myself but it is pretty good it's just not one of those where it's a must-have for this collection and then the last two products I have so the highlighter I really do like this I feel like the packaging again is beautiful glides on is so nicely you only need a little amount and a little goes a very long way you get a blinding highlight that's with less products and that's with a little bit more product but I hardly even put my brush in this so I feel like it is really really good I love the shade of it as well it really complements my skin tone and I like the fact that they have loads of different shades as well for different complexions I love this I feel like it is so nice feels very creamy blends amazingly don't need a lot of it packaging really nice soft clothes again love this definitely worth the money I'd say go ahead and pick it up if you do like highlighters and the last product is the lipstick I like the lipstick but I will not be repurchasing another one the reason for that is because I I like the look of it I like that it glides on however it is quite patchy and that's just something that I don't like I don't tend to go for matte lipsticks that often just ones that you know that are going to sell for a very long time so it is nice it doesn't feel drying it doesn't look dry it is just patchy the mousse formula is quite nice but I don't know if that's what's making it patchy I would definitely say if you want to try out some things from the collection eyeshadow palette is very very good the highlighter is very good and I feel like it's definitely a must-have and also the mascara is a must-have as well because I feel like that is a really good product these three products I definitely recommend but the other two I'd say just go ahead and skip them because I don't feel like they're worth the money so this is my first impression of the Ariana Grande Rem Beauty collection and I hope that you enjoyed this video if there's any anything you've tested out from the collection and if you like it or if you don't just comment down below to let me know and make sure to give this video a very big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next video guys bye